Hello friends and welcome to Science in the Five Senses. Today we are experimenting with things that sink and things that float. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, our first items that we have are seashells. So let's see if those sink or float. And it looks like all three of our seashells sink. Next up I have an egg shaker and that floats. We have a knife. This is an actual metal knife and it sinks. I've got this ice cream toy and it floats. I've got a couple zombie rubber duckies and I think they're gonna float. Oh, kind of. <laughs> Let's see. I've got a large foam block and we have one of the magnet wands that we use with the magnet table. And we have some little blue aliens. I'm not sure if they'll sink or float. We'll see what happens. Ooh, they sink. I thought they might float because they're not very heavy. And then I've got some fake, some fake leaves right here. And I'm not sure if they'll stay floating or if once they get saturated with water, they'll start to sink. You can see this brown one is sort of drifting down to the bottom. And the last thing I have is a rock. And I think we all know what's gonna happen when I put this in. It sinks. And now thanks to some movie magic, we're going to clear our bin for my favorite sinker float. So my favorite sinker float experiment is done with sodas. So I've got one diet soda and one regular soda. Um, they are both room temperature and I haven't done anything to them. They're still sealed as you can probably see. Um, and we're going to see because I can tell you one will sink and one will float. Let's find out which one. All right, so we'll see down here, you'll see there is some space between our diet soda can and the bottom of our bin, and our regular soda can kind of sinks all the way down to the bottom right here. And we'll talk a little bit about why this is when we get back. All right, so why does one can sink while the other can floats? Well, the answer lies with density. So if we take both cans of soda, you know that when you hold them, they feel about the same to you when you're holding them in your hands. However, there is a lot more that goes into making a can of regular soda than goes into a can of diet soda. This is about how much sweetener is in a can of diet soda. So not a whole lot, it's about 200 milligrams. Um, it's less than a fourth of a, tape, of a teaspoon, less than a fourth of a teaspoon. <laughs> Whereas in our can of regular soda, there is this much sugar, which is about 44,000 milligrams or 10 total teaspoons. So there's a lot more that's in here making it denser, so it's heavier, while it's in the water, causing it to sink. All right, that, that is our sink or float experiment. Be sure to join us next time and we're gonna talk about things that glow. We'll see you later.